Hey there, Bare Knuckle News fans. I am behind the scenes here with Reggie Barnett Jr. Reggie, uh, that was quite interesting what went on in the fight all tonight. I right, had a uh, really heated exchange with that Gwen after the fight. Um, first of all, congratulations to him. I don't ever want to take away from his accomplishments what he's done. You know, he worked hard. He went in there. He dethroned the champ. You know, but at the same time, we all know that you didn't rightfully have the place to fight the champ yet. That you were supposed to fight me, that you should have fought me, and I'm the number one contender in the world. So now that you are the champion, which you are not the champion, because there's a difference between being a champion and a belt holder. A belt holder is somebody who wins the belts from somebody else. A champion is somebody who successfully retains their belts in a defense. In order for him to be a champion, he has to beat me. I'm next in line, I'm number one in the world, and I was not impressed by him or Johnny's performance. They were sloppy, they were slow, it looked like a drunken bar fight. You get in there with educated hands like that, you go in night-night, or you are just going to get beat up for five rounds. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that Dat is really a coward. At the end of the day, he doesn't really want to fight me. He doesn't want another hard fight. It was interesting because he said that Johnny Bedford motivated him, but you don't motivate him. So that's a cop out. That's a cop out. It's an excuse and a reason to not have to fight me. That's it. How do I not motivate you? I have the second most wins in the league. I've been here longer than you. I put in my time. Why? And you want to know why? Because in his mind, like I said in a previous interview, he carries himself as if he's better than everybody else not just as a fighter, as a human being. And in, for some reason in his mind, he thinks that he's a better human being, a better person than me, and he's not. So much of the fight game is mental. When you do fight that, how will you kind of control your emotions? Because you... I'm, I'm not going to go in there and fight him off of, off of anger or, you know, madness or anything. I'm going to go in there and do my job, which is what I already know. I am the best 135-pound fighter in the world. Right? Johnny got one up on me, that's fine, but that did not define my career as a fighter. I have only gotten better, I've continued to grow, and I'm going to prove that. I told him, enjoy your victory. I will not take away from your accomplishments and what your family has done. But at the same time, if you truly want to be called the champion, you have to fight me or leave. Wow, well we certainly look forward to that fight. All right, thank you.